Good evening guys, welcome back to Tomorrow Day Farms. We actually waited purposely to do this video tonight instead of last night because the weather is better. And uh, today we're gonna plant some garlic for next year. We're gonna try it in the raised beds. Um, I got them all cleaned out of all the tomato plants the other day and um, I got them filled back up today. And we're just gonna get planting this garlic and then we are gonna show you the mountain as the sun comes down. It's absolutely beautiful with all the colors and we thought you guys might get a kick out of that. So I'm just gonna pause you and then get you down at the garden here. And then we're gonna talk about one of my favorite gar gardening books of all, gardening books of all time. And that is the Food to Grow book by Frankie Flowers. If you guys do not, and you're Canadian, you do not have this book in your, your library, go get it. It's worth the $30. Literally everything you can possibly think of is in this book. How to build a raised bed, um, all the different funguses that you want in your garden. Um, if, if you have a certain type of weed in your garden and you don't know what it is, this book will tell, tell you. It is absolutely amazing. Um, we will try to link it. It is on Amazon. I do know that for sure. But I picked this up in my bookstore at my, I think it was my Smith's Books or something. And... Um, so anyways, guys, uh, we're going to get you paused. I'm going to move you over to there, and then we're going to plant this garlic. All right, guys, so it's super simple. So you basically want to put the garlic. This is Amish pur purple garlic, and you want to put this part down on the bottom. I definitely don't have enough here to get us through like an entire year, but it's going to give us a good a good start, and it's um, it's... It'll grow back in the spring. We have to plant them in the fall. And you want to go about two inches down, put it in there, and just cover it up. And do the same. Super simple. And then you're going to want to give it, especially where we are, I mean, in where we were last time, I didn't have to be so literal with the... The covering but here I'm not sure so I'm gonna pack this with like pine shavings um, we have this from underneath our tree I'll rake more of it up and just keep adding to it and adding to it um, and that just kind of gives it a good barrier for the winter this part, the reason I'm planting it over here and not in the new garden is because this side gets a lot more sun than the other side. And you want to give, oh, and this is a, um, a hard neck um, garlic as well, which is kind of what I like anyways, because it's a lot stronger and you don't need as much of it. So it's really a simple process. And I'm just gonna take a bunch of this. I'm gonna put this over top. And we're trying to keep our eye on Kiba. Mm. So Michael's gonna tell, tell you the piggy funny of the morning. <laughs> oh, we're going there today, are we? Look, onion. Nice. That never formed. So this morning, go to do morning chores, and I go check on the board, and well, he wasn't there. So trying to figure out where he is and trying to find him, I ended up finding him, broken out of his area. Sorry, let me move you so you guys can see. Broke out of his area, and decided to go hang out with the girls for last night and part of this morning. <laughs> Well, we got rid of all our broody hens yesterday. Um, we broke them yesterday. We break ours nat naturally. We just basically take all their eggs away. We're kind of cruel about it. Yes. And because uh, I need eggs for, for winter. But we do, since they've been on their egg, if you have broody hens and they're on eggs, you should feed them back um, medicated grower or medicated starter just to give them that medication and that stuff that they're lacking when it comes to them sitting because they don't really get up and eat. They get up and stretch 
They don't really get up and eat. They lose about 30% of their body weight. My one turkey cr crazy lay looks absolutely horrible. So that's why we do that, so that they get that back into their system, so that they're growing again and doing everything properly again. Well, and the other thing is too, if you're raising chickens, they go into molt this time of year. Yes. And they use all their energy to um, create new new feathers because they lose them all. And your chickens will look absolutely atrocious. Like, like Ty, gross. our male, our male turkey Ty, he's got no wing feathers and he looks kind of sad. So, look out, dude. So, um, where's my foot, Michael? That's okay. You walk on the bottom. And, uh, so yeah, so when your chickens go into molt and they're broody, it's not very, it's not a very good situation, to be honest. It's... It's very unhealthy. It's very unhealthy for them. And uh, you definitely want to get them the nutrients. We're not big on medicated feed, but that's what we can get here. So that's what they're getting. Because they got to get through a long winter. So guys, what I'll do now is... <clears throat> I'm going to let them rest for tonight and then I'm going to um, fill this up tomorrow. We have a meeting at a bank tomorrow. So after we get home from that, I'll fill all these up and uh, with like pine shavings and um, from our pine tree because it's all natural, right? And it'll break down over the winter. So I'm amending the soil and I'm making bet bet better soil. There is compost in here as well. Um, but it's super easy. And hopefully in the spring, we'll have fresh garlic growing in here. And that's fantastic. So, really simple video. Nothing really exciting, really, other than planting garlic, because I love garlic. And anything else? Other than now we need to go patch a hole in our barn. It's not a hole. It's a little doggy door. <laughs> it's literally, he ate a hole through our barn. It's pretty funny. So, like I've always said, if you want to raise pigs, be prepared to fix that infrastructure because you will have to do it over and over mm -hmm. and over again. But to me, they're worth it. But we're going to pause you and take you into the um, pasture area. And we're going to sh show you, you guys the mountain because it's just beautiful. All right, guys. So there is the mountain. It's all the different colors. I'm telling you, northern Ontario is absolutely stunning in the fall. It is so pretty here. And we are so enjoying be being here. But isn't that mountain beautiful? And then Michael and I, I don't know if we told you guys or not. Michael and I were walking around there the other day. And we had no idea... We had, we had a waterfall on our property. We had no clue. So we actually found a waterfall on the other side of the, the mountain, which I thought was pretty cool. Because there's a lot of area we have not explored yet. No. I take the ATV out on the, the four corner. I call it the two paths. Yeah. We have two paths going in and out. And those are the paths we watch because those are the ones the snowmobilers like to use to go from one side of our property to the other side. So those are the ones we watch all the time. Then there's one to go square almost 90 degree up the mountain. Yeah. Which I'm hoping to do soon. Yeah. So, but we wanted to show you guys the mountain and how pretty it is. Michael, did you get that tree right there? Look how gorgeous that is. Yeah, I got it. It's just so beautiful. And uh, we're letting this pasture kind of go for this year, next year. We're really going to work away at it. Because like when we got here, guys, if you guys remember, that's almost six April. Months. Five, six months yeah. ago, this was all dirt and, and snow. snow and sand. And now we said, well, we're going to let Mother Nature take it back to make it a good pasture. Well, Mother Nature's definitely taking it back, which is good because it'll make a good pasture for the pigs. And, and, uh, and the cow, maybe. And the, maybe. We can get our infrastructure done. Uh, the cows are probably in the two-year plan. Yep. 
so we're hoping to have cows in a couple years and this is enough area here plus we can always cut we can um our our neighbors are loggers they will come in here and log our property for us as well so make it a little bit bigger but we also want we also want a tree line yeah so that nobody can see in yeah but anyways guys that's all i have for you today um yeah i just wanted to plant my garlic with you guys funny story a funny story from this morning um i was up majority of the night with the puppy so really wasn't water cooler conversation yes we cleaned out the duck house and my girls we might even take them over there and show them the girls um they have a water cooler conversation whenever we do anything with their coop it's kind of funny they all get in a big circle and discuss <laughs> it <laughs> yeah but that's it guys nothing big nothing special we are still here we're still going it's just it, it takes us a little bit longer right now because we're both not feeling that great but we're getting there and the pig house will be ready by tomorrow hopefully and we'll get wilbur moved if he doesn't break out again but anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for lots more homesteading we're almost about 30 people away i know 30 people guys we're almost there we're almost there and i'm, I'm tired of looking at them <laughs> michael wants me to like just give them away now <laughs> give away the cutting boards we'll just pretend we're at 500. anyways guys i will see you guys super soon hopefully we'll have a couple canning videos coming up this week i gotta look and see what kind of soups we need we do have a transport video we got wilbur coming over yeah we're gonna have we're gonna have quite a few homesteading videos up this week so i hope that's cool with you guys but we will see you guys super soon. Bye.